Now, I will confess, it took me about 20 minutes to thread this all the way through, including some rest periods that I had to take, so my fingers and thumbs could um, recover. But that is so well worth the 20 minutes. It really is. That is gorgeous. Hello, fashion sewers. I hope you are well. If you are new to my channel, I'm Colleen G. Lee. I'm here to help inspire, motivate, and also share ideas for refashioning clothing. And if you're into that sort of thing, consider subscribing. So this is what I am going to be refashioning. I think I really challenged myself with this one. I really do think I have. Um, I was originally going to make uh, this skirt into sleeves, amazing sleeves. It would be amazing really if I did, but I've already done that. I do have a video tutorial for a skirt that I turned the sleeve, the skirt into sleeves. Um, you can see it here. I do have a video on that, so I'll put that in the description below. And that jacket is now gorgeous. Oh, I can't wait to style it and wear it time and time again. But this is going to be turned into a top. But in order for you to be able to put it on, because there's going to be a minimum amount of boning involved in this, so you're going to need an aid of a t shirt. So I've got one here. Make sure it's a fitted t shirt. Um, that would be best because it will allow the three dimensional look to stick out, stand out and make a statement. So do make sure it's a fitted t-shirt. Okay. So the drama is going to be at the front and then I'm left with the back of the skirt and a plain back of a t-shirt. So we're gonna to have to work around that. At the moment, I know what I want for the front, but I'm gonna to have to do some fitting in order to know what I want for the back, not quite sure. And because it's going to be applied to a t-shirt as well, that'll play a part in how I will think about designing this. Um, it's gonna have boning. So I've got some narrow boning here that I'm gonna put into the hem. Ooh, it's a very narrow hem. I think I may just, about, I may just be, out, be able to do that. <laughs> But let's see, let's see if I can do this or if I have to change my mind and do something else. The skirt has a yoke, so I need to pay attention to that. Um, I'm going to leave it attached to the front for now. The first thing I'm considering is to cut the skirt, the side seams, because that's what I'm going to need. So I'm going to turn the skirt inside out. Okay, here are the seams. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll cut the waistband off. Oh. No, I'm not going to cut the waistband off just in case. Right, so I'm going to cut all the way up here to the waist line and cut through because the waist band is in two pieces. It has a seam. So yeah, that's the best thing to do is follow that. So I always make sure I try to keep the seam allowance to the front or the area that I want to focus on the garment. It just helps with, you know, you don't have to finish off a seam if you don't have to, if that's going to be the case. The skirt is now in two pieces. So I'm just going to focus on the front, put the back to one side. The next step is to get my boning and then funnel my boning into this very narrow, it's about as narrow as my boning, let's see, yeah, funnel it through the hemline, let's see if I can do this, okay, seam ripper. Okay. 
thing with refashioning, you, you really do need to be patient. There's a lot of using your seam ripper to rip out seams and and that's half the um, journey when it comes to refashioning, isn't it? Okay, so create a little opening there. Let's see if I can get this into there. Maybe a bit tight. I'm gonna give this. Gonna cut this a little bit into an an arrow. A bit of arrow head like that. Try again. Oh yes, it's it's getting in there. Oh yeah, it's working. Oh, I'm liking that. Yeah, that looks nice. I mean, it's just going to take me a bit of an effort to get it all the way through. So I'll see you later. <laughs> Okay, yeah, it's going to require me being very patient and then just slowly doing it. I don't want to trim anything away from the boning itself. It's just about, yeah, timing and being patient. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'll come back to you once I've completed putting it all the way through. Just look at that hem. That is gorgeous. Now, I will confess, it took me about 20 minutes to thread this all the way through, including some rest periods that I had to take so my finger and bums could um, recover. But that is so well worth the 20 minutes. It really is, that is gorgeous. Okay, so the next thing for me to do from this now is to put on my T-shirt and then a put this onto a t-shirt and see what I can achieve. Now this is what I want at the top. This is going to be really nice. I just hope it's going to work because the the um, the boning is, is, is in control. I don't think I'll be able to manipulate it that much but we shall see. Yeah let's put it on and let's see what I can do. So I've got my t-shirt on. So I'm wearing a fitted t-shirt. And I'm gonna get the center here. And play about where about I actually want to place the center. No, that's too high, I think. I think I'll put a pin there to start with. Let's come round to the back. Oh, yeah, it's a nice curve. Maybe push it down just a little bit. So I'll put a thin pin there to begin with. If you don't like doing this, you can always use um, safety pins. Be a good idea. So I've got a pin there to begin with. Now I want it to stand away over my bust area, like that. That feels nice. So what will happen is that I'll put a stitch line all the way down the centre so I'm able to, you mean, I'm able to, so what I'll be able to do then, to pin in the centre, I will stitch a row of stitching down the middle or maybe just here, don't know yet. So I can get this three dimensional shape that I'm liking right here now. So it possibly means I'll put a pin on the side here and some of this is going to go towards the back. Out there. Let me get it. A pin. There's a pin here. 
Oh, that's a nice shape. Can you see that? That's a nice shape there. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice shape. And then I'll place another pin here so that some of this will be coming into the back. Get a pin. Getting some safety pins really. Like that. Do that again. It's so hard when you have to pin things onto yourself, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's better. No, I like it. I like it there. And we sew to there, to there. Play around with sewing along here and the back, and then one side's okay. And then the fullness that is here, I want to play around so that I've got a tuck or a pleat or something happening. I'm not putting any darts in, so it's gonna be tuck or pleats, no gathers. Gathers? Maybe, maybe not. It'll either be gathers or tucks or pleats. Okay, let's, let's get this started. This is where I'm at. This is a t-shirt. I probably made the wrong choice of t-shirt because of this mesh area. I was gonna change it, but I'm, I'm gonna stick with it. So I've got a marker for where I'm going to put ooh, the center of that and also a marker there for the back. Let's see how this goes. Place a skirt on top, like so. And just pin. And then I've got that marker for the underarm matching up with this one here. I'll just pin that into place. Okay. Right, so I'll sew along here to about here and I'll sew in this direction. So I'll just sew just under that row of that line of stitching and then I repeat that onto the other side and then I put it back on again. Um, I actually might do the back, I might do as a temporary stitch and let's see how it looks. Got it on. I don't like it. <laughs> it's just when that way I do, and if I actually sew it to this section here, but it's it isn't speaking to me. It's not. I'm not happy. I think what I'm going to do is that I'm going to, because I'm only stitching in three places where I said I was going to stitch it here and under the arms. Um, so there's not a lot of unpicking for me to do, but I've said that I'm going to attach it to the neckline like that. Yeah, and that's better and not have so much of this going around to the back. So I've got more to play with at the front. And I'm going to, because I'm at the moment, I'm letting the boning control my design, um, which I initially wanted that to be the case, but I'm going to take control. So I'm going to bend it and, you know, try and find a happy medium that I will be happy with in order to make this top work. So yeah, I'm going to start here 
and then work on the size and I think I'll be happier. So it's a good idea to turn back the edge here and do a straight line of stitching. And so all the way down. As you come towards the end of sewing that edge down, it's a good idea to cut away some of the boning as well. Don't want to cut that much off. Like so, so it's secured on the inside, like that. Just do your best to make sure that in a way any bolt wax in there I'm going to cut away a little bit more from here from the actual seam so I don't have as much bolt to sew yeah that's brilliant it's a lot less bulky and then just continue sewing so really slowly as I come towards the end because you're sewing through bulk and you're also sewing through the boning better being attached to the neckline here and um, still in the position under the arm but not as much I put less towards the back so it's gonna be a lot more volume at the front so that was looking good so now I just need to think of a pleating just to bring oh yeah just to bring that into place so let me show you the side so you can see. So you can see there's a bit of a gap there. So I only tapped it to there, but I will eventually sew it down like so. Oh, that's lovely. Yep. And then I'll just get some pleats in like this. Yeah, that looks nice. Yep. And then do the same on the other side. And just pin it into place. Yeah, it's looking nice. I just need to think about now how I'm going to finish off the bottom. And one more here. Yes. Yeah, that's nice. Now I'm going to add the other section, the back, onto here somehow. But I'm just going to get this pleating effect into place here. It'll probably just run a straight stitch right across there, put some pins in. But no, it's doing what I want it to do. I'm happy. Yeah, yeah, I'm happy. This is okay. This is nice. This is lovely. This is so gorgeous. So gorgeous, so different. That's gorgeous. So what I've done is inverted pleats to the centre and just put a rubber stitch along there and that is it and it's held it in place and it looks gorgeous as is now. <laughs> um, I'm going to cut away, then to remove the facing, the yoke section at the bottom. Um, but no, that is, oh, that is lovely. Yeah, happy with that. Obviously this is going to be the last that I'll, um, the last section that I'll deal with because it still isn't attached. Um, but not worried about that, it's in, it's in place and um, probably hand sewing it I'm going to have to do, but that is gorgeous. Yeah, so I've got the back of the skirt here and I just like this, it's like the way this falls. I don't know if I should. to it like so that feels 
it feels a little bit too much for me. Maybe if I lengthen it more, then I get a narrow part of the skirt and less to play with. And uh, no, I, no, I'm not liking that. Have you seen a pull it? Like this. No. side and cut that away yeah I think I, I can work with that actually just having it on one side yeah that's something going on like this Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, that's what's gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Yeah, it's gonna go on the side. Take it from there to there. That's nice, I can live with that, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to cut away this section um, I'm going to be happy with having that amount done like too long and um, have an asymmetrical direction to it and that should be okay. I should be happy with that. So that is what I'm going to do next. So I'll just fold this in half like so. I'm just going to use the zip the end of the zip as indicated for where I need to cut and just do this freehand. So I don't need that. So let me show you the front. So I've cut away the yoke section. So I've cut that away, I've shortened it, less bulk for me to worry about. And then it's just a case of adding this section onto here, like so. So I'll finish off the raw edges and then I'll come back to this project and then pleat this on here and then it should be finished. I have done the gathers. All that I need to do is get the top. Place it like so. Place this on top. So it's going to be right side to right side and then I'm going to flip it over like so. So I'm going to sew it in position. So I want it to start from here. So I'm going to take it to the sewing machine and sew from here to there. But before I do that, I'll try it on first though. Okay, so it's turned into place and, <laughs> uh, okay, no, it's, it's, it's okay, it's, it's, it's right, um, so the pins are there so I have to be careful. So I just need to bring this to the side now. Oh, yes, yes, I think I've got it. So I think I'll get this edge, like join that under, oh yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oops. Yeah, that's going to join like that, at the side. Let's get 
open in there. Yeah, so all I need to do is sew that in position and sew the underarm and I'm going to do hand sewing here and it's done. I am happy. This is a success. This is gorgeous. Challenging but gorgeous. Yes. Sewn in place. Just need to neaten that raw edge. And yes, it looks gorgeous. And I've also sewn the underarm as well, that into place. I am going to do some hand, this bit of hand stitching for that. And I'm going to hand sew this into place as well. So yeah, all I need to do is now show you the end result. now complete and it is I love it it's just gorgeous so gorgeous just turn to the side turn to the back and turn to the other side this is so gorgeous I love it yeah, I'm really proud of this. Well worth the time that I spent putting the boning into the hemline. This sculptural top is the result and I just can't wait to start this and wear it. Oh, so many different ways. Well, not so many different ways, but um, yeah, you never know. <gasps> really love it. tips and advice. Oh, where should I start? It was definitely worth bundling the, um, what's it called again? The boning into the hemline. Yes, it did take me some time and I did have to rest, but the results are amazing. So therefore it was worth it. Very little sewing involved, very little sewing machine sewing involved, um, which is good for the drama that it has. Um, yeah, that is that is that is a plus. Anybody who thinks it's going to be difficult should definitely give it a go because there isn't that much sewing. Yes, you know I love my hand sewing, or do I? Um, but I know that hand sewing can give the best results to a nice, clean finish to a garment and a more professional look. Um, so yeah, I don't think there's anything else I can advise you on other than the fact that um, just be careful when you are threading or funneling your boning into the hemline that it isn't actually getting stuck in the hemline and it could actually come out within the hemline itself depending on the type of fabric that you're working with um be careful when you're using pins um i would i if if you are scared about trying things with pins on then based that would be that would be the best thing you know if you want to re put it back on then based and I'll always leave links in my description to help you with um, some tutorials in order to get your project completed. Um, but no, I, I, I love it, yeah. It's my favorite so far. Yes, but I say that about all my projects. <laughs> was it challenging? It wasn't as challenging as I thought it would be. No, but I, I actually thought it was going to be a difficult one. I think the, 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 the boning was probably more challenging because of the time constraints that I had to work with because it was taking too long and I had to stop and you know give my fingers a rest. But other than that, no, it's fine. So if you enjoyed this video tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and please do share on your social media platforms. If you have any comments or questions, then please pop them in the comment box below. Don't forget to subscribe and also you can become a member of CGL's channel where I provide a lot more uh, video content we can chat amongst ourselves and other members so if you want to join that then please do check that join button and find out a lot more about what i have to offer in the memberships and i see you next time <laughs>